while flying in India, will it become faster and cheaper? India is working towards an unified air, air traffic management, a single command center that controls the entire Indian airspace. It's being called Ishan, short for Indian Single Sky Harmonized Air Traffic Management at Nagpur. No points for guessing, Nagpur is where this command center is expected to come up. First, a quick crash course. Currently, India has four FIRs or what's called flight information regions, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. Guwahati is a sub-flight information region. What do flight information regions do? They control the airspace, provide air traffic services, weather information, etc. Each FIR has jurisprudence over its own airspace. For example, the airports at Mumbai, Kolhapur, Solapur, Nagpur, Aurangabad, Jalgaon, Indore, Bhopal, Ahmedabad, Vadodara, Diu, Surat, Udaipur, they all fall under the Mumbai FIR. So if a plane is going from Mumbai to Surat, it remains within the same FIR. And what happens if it is traveling from Mumbai to Kolkata? Then the plane goes from Mumbai to Kolkata FIR. Is that a problem? At a glance, no. But for the pilot that's operating the, the plane, before exiting the Mumbai FIR, she is handed over to Kolkata. This involves a lot of coordination. It basically increases the workload for the pilots who need to contact multiple centers, seek multiple clearances. It is also quite a task for the command centers. What it also does is extends the flight time. Time for some more deep dive here. Ideally, when going from Mumbai to Kolkata, the plane is supposed to take the shortest route. Ideally, but in reality, it does not. Your plane flies over pre-made satellite points. They are not necessarily in a straight line. So after taking off from Mumbai, you will fly over Aurangabad, then Nagpur, and then, then go over numerous airports and cities as that is the route. If the pilot requests for a shorter route, the Mumbai FIR can only give it a shorter route within its own airspace because it does not know what the Kolkata FIR looks like at that point. But with Ishan, it's a central command which will allow airlines to identify the shortest possible route. This will reduce the flight time, which means it will save fuel. The plan is to unify these FIRs and control them from one city, Nagpur. The Joint Information Center will have real-time view and information of the airspace of the entire country. Also, the shorter the route, the less fuel consumption and smaller the energy bill. Just to give you an idea, for a narrow-body aircraft, which is mostly used in the domestic sector, just a minute of time saved per departure equals to 360 crore saved per year. That's 360 crores less aviation fuel that India would need to import. Quick math here. Average fuel consumption for narrow body planes per minute is 40 liters. There are 3,000 departures per day in India. Save a minute each. You are saving 120,000 liters of fuel per day. Now, this is where it helps you as well. You are saving not just time, but hopefully also money. If airlines save cost on fuel, hopefully they will pass it on to you as well. So, Ishan will hopefully mean cheaper tickets. And there's more. Experts say one command center will mean better response to emergencies as well. Also better coordination. Quick question. Once the central command comes up in Nagpur, what will the air traffic controls at the airports do? Well, they will coordinate takeoff and landing, but once the plane reaches 25,000 feet, which is the upper airspace, the central command center takes over. That's the entire idea of a one country, one airspace. Experts say it's a win-win for all parties. Helps airlines save cost, helps the customer save time and money, helps airports pack in more flights, helps India's civil aviation sector optimize air traffic management. So what is the way forward? Number one, setting up of the command center. The work has already started. The Airport Authority of India has invited EOI or expressions of interest 
for preparing a detailed report for Ishan. And once that's done, step two kicks in, infrastructure. All civil radars and in some cases, military radars will have to be integrated. Controllers will have to be trained. Infrastructure will have to be developed. Controllers will have to be relocated. Analysts say almost 75 to 80 percent of India's controllers will be based out of Nagpur. And then India will migrate to the new system to a central command. And how long will that take? Some reports say up to eight years. But rest assured, once the process starts, India will by all means complete it at the earliest. The country is in the middle of a civil aviation boom. Indian carriers are placing record aircraft orders. Wide-bodied planes are being brought in. New sectors are being announced. New airports are being inaugurated. The Noida International Airport, for example, will be operational by the year-end. Old ones are being revamped. By 2030, India is expected to have 220 airports, 1,500 planes, 42.5 crore annual passengers. India is also modernizing the immigration process. India is aiming to become a major aviation hub and the road and the skies are leading in that direction. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.